If you're watching this video, then you've probably already watched the protein synthesis video explaining the process of protein synthesis. And if you haven't, then maybe first watch that before you watch this one. But this video is now how to use the genetic code table when answering questions related to protein synthesis. I just want to explain this table to you because maybe some of you have never seen it before or are unsure what's happening in the table. It's got all these little triplets that you see on the screen are grouped and they are the codons from the mRNA. And you can see there are three letters. So the first letter of the, of the codon, let's say it's um, CAA, then you'd start in the blue row where um, the first letter on the left there is C and then you go across in the row until you find CAA because the second letter is A and in the, in the, if you look in the third column over here, you can see that all the second letters are A. And then the last letter is um, A as well. And then that would, you'd look at it, look for it there, and then you'd see it is glutamine, is the amino acid. Because this tells you what amino acid is going to be used to make the protein, but it's based on the codon on the mRNA. You must really remember that because that's where a lot of people make a mistake. You use that code on the mRNA when you use this table. On this slide, I just want to show you and recap about protein synthesis, what it actually involves. And I'll give you a way of remembering the order that the different steps happen in protein synthesis. If you look over here, you've got DNA and you've got mRNA. And then in, that's transcription. And then in the, in the translation that happens in the um, cytoplasm, you've got tRNA over there, tRNA, and you've got amino acids that are being brought. There's an amino acid, there's another one. So that is the order. Now look at the way I, I can help you remember. DNA, dear, Mary, try, again. So each letter First letter of that little sentence, dear, is DNA, Mary, M is mRNA, tri, tRNA, and A, amino acid. And that will help you to remember the order. Now, I'm going to have a, a few examples of how you can use the, that genetic code table to answer questions or work out what the tRNA is or what the mRNA is or what the amino acid should be. If we look at this one, yeah, I've got, if you look at the table at the top left there, dear Mary, try again. DNA is first, and they, they say that the, on the DNA in the nucleus, the little code on the, the little um, triplet was TGC. So what would the mRNA be? See if you can work with me now, if you know how to do this, then, then work with me and try and anticipate what the letters should be. Try and guess and see if you're correct. mRNA. The T should be, um, the first letter would be A, the G would go C, and the, and the C would go with a G. So it's A, C, G would be the mRNA. tRNA, now remember that adenine in RNA will go with uracil. So now it would be U, G, C. And then the amino acid. Now we've got to decide which of these three are we going to use to find the amino acid. If you remember right in the beginning, I said to you, you must use the mRNA, the codon of the mRNA. So we're going to use this one to find it on, the, we're going to find it on the table and then we'll know which one, um, which amino acid is being made. So let's look. A, A's are down here at the yellow over here. And we go across A, C, G. So here's A, C, G. And if we look, there's the amino acid. So now, you can see that it's going to be threonine. Threonine is the amino acid. And if you look at this little um, tRNA that I'm showing you here, yeah, you've got the, um, the, the amino acid, threonine. Here's the tRNA. And here's the anticodon with um, the UGC, which links up with that one. So can you see the connection? Okay. Now we're going to do a different one and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. It's not going to be as straightforward as this one. We're going to go to the next one. If you look here, now they're giving you the tRNA, G-U-U. And we'll have to work out the others, or at least some of them, but let's work them all out. 
just as practice and also for um, how to use the table, it'll help you with all of that. So let's go back one and work out what mRNA is going to be. If it's G on the tRNA, it's going to be C. Yes, C and the U on the tRNA is going to create or, or link up with the A on the um, mRNA. So on the mRNA, it's CAA. But before we go to the table, let's just for practice do the DNA as well. The DNA will be G, T, T. There we are. Now, remember which one of those are we going to use for the table? We're going to use the mRNA. And if you go and look on the table again, C is in the blue line across. We go right across over here. We go right across and here we find CAA. Now CAA, what is that amino acid there? Yes, glutamine. And glutamine, if you look here, it's on the top of the tRNA and its anticodon on the tRNA will be GUU, which is what we've got in our table above, over here. You see there? It's GUU. But the CAA we had to get first and then we could find out that it was glutamine. Okay, one more just for practice. Now they're giving you the amino acid. Oh my goodness, now we've got to work back. Methionine. Methionine, now you'll have to go and look on the table for methionine. Let me look at it and I'll just quickly help you get to the get it quickly. But here it is, methionine, and there's it's a, there is its um, the little code for it. But now where should I put it on the, on the table on the left? Do I write it at DNA, mRNA, tRNA? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. It's at mRNA. So now we're going to put it in there. And it's AUG. We write it in there. Then we can work out the DNA because sometimes they ask give you the amino acid and they say work out the DNA. that coded for it. Now you've got to go all the way back and do what I'm doing now. So let's work out um, the DNA. The DNA will be... A will be T, U goes with, yes, A, and G will go with C. So it will be T-A-C. And then the T-R-N-A will be, with adenine, you have uracil. So not, not thiamine. Remember that again? This is where people make mistakes. It will be U-A-C. And then the thionine will look like that. On, it, on the top of the tRNA being brought to the ribosome to form a polypeptide chain of amino acids. I hope that's helped you again and that you can um, apply it in your exams and your tests.